See, I'm judging it by this door here. I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do. Well, when we do the roof, in fact, let's delete the roof. Because we don't need that. When we do the roof, it's going to come out and hang out over here, over the porch. So we've got to make sure it doesn't come down too low. Uh, yeah, it can't come down low enough so that my character can't walk underneath it. Um, let's just move this along here. Start. Let's move this along. <laughs> Let's get the gap between the window and the door better. Actually, you know what? I'm going to also make my door larger. I don't think that door's a good height. I know it's two meters high. Uh, one just over a meter wide, but I think it's going to be too small. So I'm just going to make this a little wider. A little taller. Just take that up a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And with that, I'm just going to pull this in a little bit. Another meter. So let's do... Oh, wrong way, sorry. Minus 100, that's what it was. Minus 100. Minus 100. There we go. Drinking all the time, so my... That's more like it. Yes, I can sort of see that now. There's lots of space in there for some to set up home. Right, so... First of all, let's get rid of these edges that we don't need. And the way to do that is just to select it. Hold down control, press backspace, go on. We don't need these. Select, 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 backspace. Oops, see, you've got to be careful you don't delete uh, edges that are integral to the shape. That one's fine, so these must remain. Um, because they form the structure of this doorway. Let's just take one out. You see it's broken so control Z bring that one back so we leave those edges in okay let's work with this window let's get rid of that we don't need that select that move it up right now we're going to use the cut tool here which we've not done yet so this here creates a new edge so if you select it Go to the edge where you want to start. Uh, move it to the edge where you want it to go. And press that and then right click to cancel. That's it. You've got, got a new edge. We can remove. Oops. Make sure you turn that off. Select the window. Press delete. Okay, we're going to straighten up this edge here just by selecting that vert. Just move it up and down. Press S and snap it to that one there. There we go. Like that. So we know it's in the same place. Now I'm going to move this. My window on my concept is it's fairly square, I think. So I'm going to just square it up a little more. Uh, yeah, just 
pull it together a bit more like that. Actually, let's just do that and then move it up slightly. Yeah, there's a lot of wall on this end here. Let's move the door and the window over a bit like that. Yeah, you gotta be careful these birds don't go off the edge here. Just do that. Pull that back. Just move that window over a little bit more. Like so. Okay, that looks pretty good for box map. One thing to note here, if we go in and turn on back face coal, there will be no interior. So that's something we may have to address, actually. Let's just straighten these up. So that they might, I'm just a bit of a neat freak, so I'll just straighten up all these edges for now. Yeah, we can definitely get rid of that. Snap. Get rid of that one. Control and backspace. Get rid of that one. Control and backspace. Just optimizing. We don't need any of these. Control and backspace. There's not going to be any back windows or anything like that. So I just get rid of them all. In fact, just select them all like so and delete back face. Yeah, get rid of all these. Delete. Be careful with these T. These are what we call T verts, where an edge just ends and it's got nowhere to finish. Um, I mean, there is something there. There's triangles there, but you just can't see them. Um, so the game won't care really, to be honest with you. But it just doesn't look very nice. Just clean this up here. We can get rid of these. Yeah, now that's fine for. I think that gives us our exterior. I still think it's a little big, to be honest. But I don't know if you um if you're this character, this big walking around outside here, it doesn't appear so big then, does it? It feels quite small, so. I think the truth will be told when we get it inside Unity. Yes. Okay. Quick way of doing the inside is if we copy this. Box two, go out, shrink it down slightly. And uh, we have realign it with this one. We flip all the faces on it. So we select all the faces and flip. And we have quite an instant tier, but we have to line up some of the verts um, because like the door's not quite right. We go back in, modify, sorry, select the door verts, for example. Let's get these lines back up again. So the other side that time because we scaled it, so it's a slightly different size. And we just match them up with the outside one, same with the window. So we've got a cavity all the way around, which is cool. And the floor. There's going to be some Z fighting on the floor. I think we probably don't need the floor of the outside. We don't need it. Maybe we do. Yeah, I shall leave it for now. 
Maybe have a step up into it. Okay, we just need moving up. Like so. Move the windows back down. So I'll line the window again. Like that. Do this left to right. Do that, make sure snap is on. Use Y, there you go. Use the Y axis to snap that. Okay, right, so what have we got here? Snap. See, if we do this, and we use the mesh as the collision also, because it's not very high poly, it should be able to cope with that really easily. We should be able to just walk inside. And yeah, you know, once we set it all up, I'm not gonna bother with the cavity for now. I might do the doorway because that could be a problem. And the window, let's just do those. Um yeah. So we just select all the we select the whole so this is where border comes in. If you select that it goes all the way around. Hold down shift and move it out and you see it kind of extrudes it. It's another type of extrusion method. Um, press snap and then just move it, dink, snap it to the outside and then we have our, there's going to be some sorting on the floor there problems. But it should be fine. Do the same for the window. Uh, select, let's turn the snap off for now. Get the square for the window. Hold down shift and move it towards the outside like that. Press S for snap. Just move it to the outside like that. For a box map, that's all we need. Let's turn that off. All right, what we're going to do now, because the interior and the exterior are two different objects, we're going to attach them. So we're going to select the interior, and we're going to say attach, and we're going to go attach to the outside. And because these verts aren't welded, we're going to weld the we're going to weld these ex exterior verts of the window and the door. So if we select those like that. We don't need those top ones or those bottom ones. And they can then just go weld and they'll be welded together. So you just check. Just select one and move it and you can see that's all joined nicely. So there we have it. Our door and our window. Doesn't feel quite right yet. <coughs> I think that will do for our hut. Um, so let's just call it WB underscore hut main. There you go. That will do it. These parts just aren't quite up to it but it doesn't matter we'll make we'll give the roof thickness and we'll sink it in once we do that so it doesn't really matter too much and you can see there's some sorting issues there but again don't care for the box map but you know we don't want to spend too much time and the point of this just to get the size and the space right um so that's it that's our exterior in the next lecture, we're going to let's have a look at our document. We're going to we'll do the roof and probably the chimney at the same time. We'll do the roof and the chimney in the next lecture. So I'll see you there.